So, us on the podcast is uh, Major Mohammad Ali Shah for more on the story. Major Shah, uh, what do you make of uh, the latest in the Russia-Ukraine war? Um, of course, sir, uh, both sides continue to um, uh, you know, hit back at each other. Russia claims that they've now taken um, control of yet another Ukrainian city. But Ukraine says that uh, it's not true. Well, uh, Paisi, right now I would call it all information warfare. We don't know exactly what is going on and what is who's doing what, who's taking over what, who's winning, who's losing. There's nothing as winning and losing. Everyone's the loser. Everyone loses in a war, firstly. Now, when we see that they have taken over certain uh, cities, certain townships, certain uh, areas, we, if we don't know who to trust because Russian media, which is uh, not, which doesn't have a wider reach, will report something else. The Western media will report something, which has a wider reach, will report something else. So we don't know exactly. It's, I would call it as a part of an information warfare, which is uh, very, very uh, common in a practice in a war, where they are playing psychological warfare, information warfare. There is all kind of warfare that is used in a war, apart from just firing bullets. So I would call it, uh, to pin it down in one word, Information warfare, Paisi. All right, Mr. Shah, can you also help us understand, sir, um, you know, as far as the Russia-Ukraine war is concerned, um, how much longer do you think both sides are going to be able to sustain this? Because, of course, we saw this start uh, last year. It's been going on for over a year now. Um, how long do you think, sir, that both sides can continue to sustain, um, you know, being on the battleground? See, Ukraine is a... Uh, first thing, I'll, let's begin by 24th February 2022 when President Vladimir Putin decided to attack Ukraine and he went ahead for the attack. That time he had certainly miscalculated somewhere that Ukraine is a small country, they'll finish the war in a few days. And there is a, I'm not just guessing that, it is, I can, it's quite evident by the very fact that the Russian forces were carrying their ceremonial dress, they were, that when they will go there, they will, uh, uh, they, try, they, they were carrying the Russian flag with them, that they will plant the Russian flag, they will have a ceremonial uh, uh, ceremony and, and that's about it, in a few days. But it prolonged for so long because, not because Ukraine had the strength to fight back, they had a fighting spirit alright, but they were aided by the Western forces, by the Western powers, by the NATO forces, by uh, America, by UK, by primarily from other countries. So Ukraine could sustain that. Now, it is now, but the very fact is, Paisi, if you also try to help somebody, there's a limit. You cannot go on helping out a person till eternity. They will be, you will draw a line somewhere. There will be a limit somewhere. Similarly, but yes, Ukraine will, will, will get further support from the Western power. That's a different thing. How long will Russia be able to sustain that? Russia has just uh, made friends with, they were always friends though, but they uh, their relationship with China has come closer. And uh, you know very well that there are a lot of sanctions on uh, Russia, one after the other. There are too many sanctions sanctions on them. Now, how long will they sustain it with those sanctions is a golden question because Russia having to sustain this war will have to take a lot of loans. And taking loans to fight a war for destruction is not a good idea at all. So both the nations suffer, and uh, but the very fact remains that they have sustained it for so long, almost a year you can call it. Next month it's going to be a year. So when they have sustained it for so long, perhaps they would be able to, they will be in dire straits, both the nations, they will suffer very badly, both the economy will suffer, the humanity will suffer, but the very fact none of them are giving up so far. So maybe it could either, two things, Either it can go on for further longer because they have sustained it so long, they can sustain it furthermore. Or the other way of looking at it is, they have sustained it for about a year now. Now the resources are giving way. They may not be. They may not be able to sustain it further. Just be, just when uh, President Vladimir Zelensky addressed the uh, US uh, Congress, uh, the next day, Vladimir Putin met, he spoke to Jay Biden. And he said that we, the Russia is not interested in, in, long, in stretching this long this war further. So they were they were signs of peace. But immediately after that, we heard that Russia had uh, bombarded over a hundred missiles into Ukraine. There were fresh attacks. So when there were talks of peace and then people were analyzing and they were expecting peace to come in, suddenly there were so many talks. There were so many missiles. So now I see it this way that hopefully we were expecting the war to come to an end. Now the other way is. 
the war could come to an end soon. So there were two ways of looking at it. One, it will go on for furthermore, because if the war doesn't stop now, it will go on further and every single nation, every single nation, I'm not talking about a world war, but I'm talking about every single nation would be affected by it, Parizhi. All right, thank you so much, Major Shah, for joining us on the broadcast and giving us your analysis of uh, the Russia-Ukraine war.